The largest federation of unions, the AFL-CIO, is set to vote later this morning on its endorsement for president in the 2024 election. The federation includes more than 12 million working people and 60 national and international unions. In 2020, the group endorsed then-candidates Biden and Harris. And joining us now is the president of the AFL-CIO, Liz Schuler. Liz, it's good to see you this morning. You have called Joe Biden the most pro-union president of our lifetime. So is there any doubt in your mind that your membership will vote to endorse Joe Biden again this time around? Well, absolutely. Good morning, Willie. And we are so excited because this morning we get to start mobilizing union members after this historic vote. We fully expect uh, our general board to make that endorsement this morning. Um, we are a democracy. And so we've been engaging our members, uh, listening to them, and they want someone who will stand up and fight for them. And that's exactly what this president has done. He said he wanted to be the most pro-union president when he took office, and he has absolutely delivered. So Liz, let's get you to expand upon that. The President Biden has made it very clear how much he believes in the union cause. He appears at events with union workers constantly. Uh, in fact, he's got another one coming up this weekend in Philadelphia. So give us a few specifics as to how you do believe, you and your members believe, he has uh, fought for you guys. Well, it starts with uh, the American Rescue Plan and the leadership that he sh has shown to bring our country through crisis and making sure that people didn't lose their jobs uh, in the middle of a pandemic and to you know, recognize and appreciate that workers were essential. And we also then fast forward to the transformative policies of this administration with the most productive Congress and partnership with President Biden and Vice President Harris to deliver on these historic investments, whether it's the infrastructure investments, the chips and science, uh, the clean energy investments in the Inflation Reduction Act, those are gonna create millions millions of jobs, good union jobs. Uh, not to mention that we have a policy for the first time in this country, an industrial policy that's going to bring jobs back to manufacturing. Uh, the White House has an office, a Made in America office uh, in the White House. Um, not to mention the cabinet members that have been out there fighting for working people. Uh, Secretary Cardona refused to cross a picket line just last weekend uh, because of graduate uh, researchers who have been on strike at the University of Washington. So I think from uh, whether it's the policy uh, angle, whether it's using the bully pulpit to talk about unions and the importance of unions to our democracy and to this economy, uh, this administration has delivered time and time again. Liz Elise Jordan here. So this is over 60 unions who are going to endorse the president and standing with the president. How is how are you planning on harnessing that power to the president's readvantage when it comes to organizing for 2024? Are there any lessons learned from the 2022 election cycle? Absolutely. That's what the labor movement does best is we mobilize on the ground. And in this era where there's a lot of misinformation out there, um, often people feel disconnected from what's happening in Washington. We have the ability and the infrastructure to be out in the community and connecting what people's lived experiences are to the policies, because these investments just don't land in communities by chance. They are deliberate and intentional decisions that this administration has made. So our job will be to connect the dots and to show people that we have been, you know, this economy is doing better. Inflation is coming down. The job market is what it is, uh, lowest unemployment in history because of the decisions of this administration. Well, that vote among your membership starts just over an hour from now, so we will let you run. President of the AFL-CIO, Liz Schuler, will be looking for the results in a couple of hours. Thanks so much. Great to have you on this morning.